Hello everyone, welcome to a video on the new game coming up, which is Ride 4. Now I'm going to be going over a bunch of the notes that they have displayed on their website. I'll link it in the description below. I won't go over it in detail, but I'll just touch up on just the major points. And also have the trailer slash some pictures in the background playing for you guys, so it's not, not me talking. Now, one of their main points that they keep hammering on in this post is detail. Bike detail, weather, tire wear, that also includes in bikes. Um, 3D modeling, they have done extensive 3D modeling apparently. CAD and 3D scans for real models. We bought the life most authentic and lifelike replicas of a favorite motorcycle. So they have tried their best to replicate your favorite's bike and another thing that they really hone on in this post is customization you can customize your helmet your suit your bike and not only just your bike as in the wheels and all that you can change your aerodynamic bits to it your mirrors and the more interesting part about that is those actually affect how your bike handles so if you have a front splitter i think it's called your bike will have more downforce in the front so your riding style kind of has to change and more on the customization front you can change your helmet style to whatever so if you're creative you can just make the craziest design their shapes numbers everything letters numbers shapes just like in forza Another thing that they're introducing onto the series is tire wear. Uh, that hasn't been a thing on the series, but it is now. So like in MotoGP, your front and rear tires wear separately, obviously. And there's also tire compounds, uh, soft, medium, hards. And they also wear differently to the condition you're riding in. So if you're riding in the wet, your tire will, tire will wear differently in the wet. And with different compounds, there's different variability there and also different grip and they also have talked about in this detail on the cockpit so they're laser scanned most every part of the bike they can and they try to make the most detailed cockpit experience possible if it was possible to strap in on a vr headset and look at the cockpits their goal was to make it seem like you're in real life and they have done that more on the cockpit is uh, the data on the dashboard changes in real time speed temperature and traction control and one the crazy thing is even the oil bottle vibrates according to the movement of the bike so if you're leaning right your bike uh, your oil bottle or can will change accordingly if you're over a bump it will splash and look like so which is really cool and another aspect of this uh, they're honing on is the career structure and how you play the game so if you're if you make good decision ride well you'll be going up in the series you're in or the league so if you're riding in the american or european or asian league you'll go up in that and also another thing they're trying to implement into this game is the affinity system so if you like a certain manufacturer more than a different one like say you like ktm more than honda and if you stick with ktm you'll get more ktm specific events so that's their affinity system they say show your talent and get noticed a manufacturer might call you to collaborate as an official tester so if you show your dedication towards a certain brand they'll be like hey you want to do some more events using our bikes which is really cool makes it more involving another main there's this main points on main points in this they're trying to just get the absolute maximum level of detail in these games now in this game now and their new daylight cycle there's a daylight cycle dynamic weather game changer exclamation mark so not only does it go from day to night in a seeming seamless fashion it could go day to night and also the weather change which is like really difficult for some games a set of course uh, doesn't even have it i don't think real racing just now implemented it so daylight cycle and dynamic weather so you could be racing from evening to night and go from clear to a storm which is going to be a lot of dynamics changing so the track is going to get colder not only by the 
daylight cycle also by the weather so you have to adapt your riding style maybe coming to the pits with different tires and whatnot another aspect they're trying to implement is endurance mode so long races more strategy involved in these so they're trying to make you feel more involved in the race so not only can you you know change your riding style so if it's a different track if it's a faster track you can change your riding style to that and also tire and fuel consumption which is going to come in um effect so if you're trying to you know run the fastest lap you might want low fuel and the soft tires but if you're trying to go the distance high fuel and then the hard compounds they will go longer and then they'll last longer so all that also come into play so i love the dynamics of that apparently there is a interactive pit stop so not only can you just decide to just change tires or bikes you can decide whether you want fuel or not and that will affect how you race in the endurance race or any other race so if you put low fuel you'll be going faster but you won't possibly make it to the end of the race so that's also another dynamic they're adding into it seems like they're just going for dynamic nothing is boring in this game and i really really like that another thing that makes it less boring is their ai system they call it anna their revolutionary artificial neural network agent based on machine learning so anna is the um the machine learning that the ai use so um i don't know how this will be implemented but what i'm guessing is if you mess up in a corner more than once and the ai kind of learned that they probably will overtake you let's say you go out wide in a certain corner ai will learn that and go around the inside and vice versa which adds another dynamic to the game talking about dynamics you can't skip the multiplayer they are trying to also make it the smoothest lossless quality multiplayer experience and they have dedicated servers to do so and they're really proud on that so that's really good i want to see how the multiplayer works and how good it is compared to single player and how the graphics and the dynamic weather and all that is implemented into the multiplayer last but not least i've touched on this before in the beginning customization you can customize everything your suit helmet bike everything and not only are those customizations just visual they also have effect on the bike so splitters will have effect on downforce tire wear and also fuel consumption so everything comes into play nothing is just there for show in this game which is really really cool and I think those are all the pace notes that they have delivered so far and i'm really really looking forward to ride for because it seems to be the game that's going to set standard for more motorcycle racing games in the future because they're trying to make it as realistic like this is the highest level of realism they have ever gone for and i'm very excited to see how they execute it and how different it is from prior games and what the standard level they set for future games to come but anyway that being said thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to leave a like and if you're new subscribe for more moto gp ride for motorcycle racing content or any racing content in the future till next time i'm off peace